Hi, Pisces. So we're going to do this super intuitive today. I'm not going to discuss the planets unless I feel drawn to, because I think you guys are just kind of like just needing some guidance right now. Everything is in retrograde. Everything's kind of confusing. Everything's moving very slowly. Um, I think during this time it could be really foggy and people could be pulling the wool over your eyes and I don't want them to get away with it. Honestly. We have the Knight of Pentacles. That's slow pace. We have the Seven of Swords. People doing you wrong for no good reason. And the Ace of Swords, the truth coming out. Things being brought to light, things being discovered. I'm in a very peaceful place today. And I think that you guys need this peace. You need this opportunity to be able to see the truth by breathing. The cards just want to full eye out for you. So, Six of Pentacles. Death. The King of Wands and the Seven of Wands. So, where are you putting your energy, Pisces? Are you giving of yourself into a situation that is not treating you with respect. We have the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, by the way. I'm not going to pull bottom of the deck cards, but I just want you to know the Ten of Swords and we have the world. So this ending with possibly a fire sign that you've become very, very defensive towards is real. But these eclipses are actually helping that happen. So you don't really have to do a lot of work. The truth is coming out, whether they like it or not. Things will happen, whether they like it or not. And you'll get to have that new beginning. You'll get to complete a karmic cycle, and then you can breathe again. It might be happening very slow, and that's the thing, is it's almost as if you're like, you could also have an earth sign that's being very deceptive towards you right now as well. But the Knight of Pentacles to me is somebody who is very stable. They don't have to be stable. They could be offering you like not much or you're finding out a, a very harsh truth about an earth sign. This is this Knight of Pentacles. We'll clarify, and then I'll look at the bottom of the deck, and then we'll do the second half of August. This is just the first half. I don't think I said that to you already. Sorry. I really wanted to get to your reading, because I know that there are some people, you could have a Scorpio in your life, too, that you're really giving a lot of energy to, but I feel this fire sign energy like super, super defense mode. And I don't want you to have to defend something that you like didn't even do. You know, it's almost like they're saying it's your fault. And that's what I mean by pulling the wool over your eyes. It's a very narcissistic, very um, gaslighting type of time right now. People are going to try and come at you with stuff and say, and like, blame you for things. Don't let that happen. Knight of Pentacles. And you guys being the sign that really, oh yeah, you're moving slow, which is fine. Queen of Cups, you guys are the ones that are moving slow. But it's okay, because taking like very analytical and methodical, like coming into your Virgo, you know, Virgo is just the opposite of Pisces, coming into that Virgo analytical mindset that you do have. You can borrow it. I'll let you. I'll let you borrow my Virgo analyt analytical side. Um, it's okay. Take this take the much needed steps to move away from this deception, to move away from this blame. Cuz sometimes it can't happen right away. 
you want it to happen right away a lot of times. But um, Seven of Swords, yeah, it's almost like it's a facade. Like somebody is really trying to irk you, like pushing your buttons. Here you are, Eight of Wands. And you really will be opening up and letting them know Eight of Wands and the Hanged Man. I mean, this is you. The Hanged Man is you. And if you did something wrong, if you did something to upset someone, you're communicating about it. You you know what? You might be coming in very slowly and doing it, but you're communicating. Like, I was wrong, dude. But the truth will set you free. Whether it's your truth or somebody else's truth that they need to say, it's coming out. And... Because the fog will lift, maybe not the beginning of August, but there's definitely forward movement towards that. Mercury retrograde is keeping everybody in a fog for a while. Ooh, Ace of Cups. Are you leaving somebody behind to go towards somebody else? Are you leaving maybe a fire sign to go towards a Scorpio? Because an ace on an ace is like, you are being very, very honest about your feelings and about what you want and about the opportunities that you want to have. And the universe is handing this to you and saying, now is the time for you to do this. Now is the time for you to speak your truth about the love you want in your life. Right? So Six of Pentacles, where are you giving of your energy? Is it all in the right places? Judgment. It's time to figure that out and be honest with yourself. Where am I putting my energy? Where am I placing my resources? Am I overextending myself in one way and not giving back to me? Am I overextending myself in one way and not giving back to the people who really need me and giving it to people that don't really like truly accept who I am? Are you giving it to a Scorpio? Is a Scorpio moving very slowly towards you? Are you recognizing that this is the person you want to have in your life? And it was kind of came as a shock. Whoa. Yeah. You want to be with a Scorpio. Page of Cups and the Six of Wands. The thing is, is I think they're very hesitant about approaching you right now because of the situation that you might be in with this, with this fire sign. Whoa. Yeah, I guess so. Let's see who this fire sign is. The cars are flying everywhere. Yeah, you are. There are way too many people involved in this business. It's time to walk away. If there are three people involved here, it's time to walk away from this fire sign and really find out what it is that you need for fulfillment in your life. And no longer allowing all of these people to be involved. Like seriously taking the time. To, um, I don't know, I feel like your guard is up. I don't feel like there's any fighting that's happening. I just feel like there's a lot of realization and opportunity. Queen of Swords. So, really being very logical about it. And not only being logical about it, but 
um, just the honest truth. You could also have an air sign that you're blocking. This could be an air sign with fire in their chart, fire sign with air in their chart, but somebody is really having to walk away from a situation because of the truth of the matter, whatever truth that is, right? We have the four of pentacles, the three of swords, justice, there's that air sign, the higher font, there's that earth sign, seven of pentacles, the emperor, there is that fire sign. Don't regret the decision that you make. If you seriously holding on way too hard to a situation that is only hurting you even more. And I don't know how clear, how much more clear this can be. Possibly getting divorced with judgment or with uh, justice and the hierophant or ending a serious relationship. Maybe you're going to go back to school. I don't know. This feels very relationship oriented. It feels like Pisces is walking away from someone to make room for someone else. And it's time. It is very much time for that to happen. Seven of Pentacles and the Emperor. If you've been waiting on this fire sign to make a move, I don't think they're going to. I think you're going to have to be the one that makes the move. I think you're the one that's going to have to be the one that makes the decision to move forward and communicate that. Because you want to be emotionally fulfilled and you're not being emotionally fulfilled. You want more out of a relationship and it seems like somebody wants to give you more. And I think that you really, really, really regret some things from the past. Like maybe not moving forward sooner or moving away from a situation sooner. So let's see what happens in the second half of August. Because I still, I don't think that there's an actual decision that's made in the first half of August, but I don't want you to hold on to the pain of what you have to do. You know, I want you to be able to, and even if you have made a decision, I don't feel like there's a lot of movement. I don't feel like there's a lot of cutting people out. Might be a lot of communication about having to go in a new way, right? So the second half of August is a really good time for you to communicate more. Things become a little bit more stable. Yeah, lots of new beginnings. This is where movement happens. Four of Wands and the Fool and the Eight of Pentacles. So things start to become a little bit more stable and grounded and safe and secure. This is Aquarius also. So, but I do feel like there's, there's like this buildup of self-esteem almost. Like things are becoming much more clear and grounded for you in the second half of August. Which makes a lot of sense. Three of swords. Still dealing with the pain of it, though. I almost feel like you're going to bury yourself in work to kind of get away from it. Man, whatever that person did to hurt you, not okay. Not okay. Yeah, you've really got to walk away from that so you can manifest things. You want to be able to bring new things into your life. So we have the Eight of Cups and we have the Magician. Um, this isn't easy to walk away from. I understand that. I feel that. I totally get it. It's not easy to walk away from, but it's necessary in order for you to be able to focus on manifesting new things into your life and bringing new situations into your life, your vibration needs to raise. And this is not a high vibration. That's not a high vibration. That's something that um, will keep you trapped 
if you let it. If you allow it to keep you trapped, it will keep you trapped. So four of wands, whoa, nine of pentacles, yeah. Finding your own balance, finding your own stability, being very prosperous and abundant, looking good, feeling good. I am um, almost thinking you guys are like putting on a happy face because this is still happening on the inside, but you're moving away from it and you're like, no, I got this. I can do it. I got this. What's the fool? Yeah. Truth. The truth will set you free. I think that's what I'm going to call this video. Ace of Swords, being very honest with yourself and speaking your truth. Not letting somebody else tell you what your truth is, but speaking your own truth. Eight of Pentacles, yep. Wheel of Fortune. See, the second half of August is so much better. We just got to get past this Three of Swords. The universe is literally telling you, I have a fortune for you. I have abundance for you. I have things coming to you. But we got to leave the past in the past. We got to be able to move future forward, future forward, right? Right? And you need to be very brutally honest with yourself that having faith to move into that is really the biggest way to manifest things. When you have faith in yourself, when you can look at yourself and be like, no, I know that I'm worthy of more. I know that I deserve more. I don't have to deal with this person always like hurting me and deceiving me over and over and over again. What is the Three of Swords? How can we get rid of it? How can we heal it? You can't just like wish it. I mean, you could wish it away. I don't know if that works, right? There you go. Wish it away. Six of Swords. Moving from coming into like a mental balance about it. You know? Moving away from the roughness of it. Patching it up. Letting it go. Right? Eight of Cups. What is the Eight of Cups? Justice. A lot of karma. A lot of learning those lessons, balancing things out. Truth and honesty. If you're dealing with a Libra, you might be walking away from them. And the Magician. Moving into great manifestation powers. Once you let go of the heartache, you could be dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo. But... More than anything, just using all of your knowledge, all of your gifts, all of your power to produce, right? There you are. The hanged man. Being very enlightened on purpose and manifesting great things, but you have to make space for it first and you have to heal your wounds from your past and not let, not allow people to continue to reopen those wounds. Three of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Knight of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Pisces. 
I feel like you are focusing on your money, which is good. And you might be blocking out the whole love arena, which is also fine. Um, don't guard your heart so much that it's not open to anything. But definitely heal from the situation that's already happened. And because I feel like you're finding your stability all on your own at the end of August. I feel like um, your prosperity for August really depends on yourself and the forward movement and the learning the karmic lessons and the not allowing other people to define your life, which I don't think you guys really do anyways, but sometimes that one person can sneak in when we least expect it and turn our whole, our whole world upside down. And so it's time to really focus on yourself and to know your truth and to be very real about that. And I see wonderful, wonderful things coming. August, the end of August is going to be really good for you. It's going to be abundant. It's going to be so much more than you probably expected because of all this crap that you've had to deal with coming up to it. But again, like I said, the Wheel of Fortune on the Eight of Pentacles turns into the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So the universe's promise to you is that if you can find space for this abundance, if you can find space for it, and let go of the things that keep on holding you back, it's yours. But you have to focus. And you can't let other people put the wool over, pull the wool over your eyes anymore. It's time to balance out your existence, right? Not the easiest task to do, but it's so worth it. So worth it. I love it. Such an easy read. You guys actually had a really easy read, much easier than the other ones. And that's kind of what I wanted to accomplish because I wanted to bring a peace to you because I know that this Three of Swords has been dragging you around for a couple months and we want to let it go. It's really time to let it go, right? It's really time to step into our power and know our great manifestation. Like, let's work with the Wheel of Fortune instead of against it, right? All right, I will be in Austin, Texas on August 17th and Atlanta, Georgia on the 24th. Those links are below, the Eventbrite links. You can go to my website also to, to order the tickets. Um, and in-person readings are available on my website. I don't have them up for Atlanta yet, but I do have them up for Austin, if you would like to take a look at those. Also, I am doing personal readings right now. I have a limited number of video recorded readings I'm doing, but my FaceTime readings are open and if you absolutely have to have those video recorded, I will do that. Um, I just do the video recorded readings because it's much easier for me to schedule those in and make sure that they get done. Um, the video recorded readings, um, it's just kind of a longer process. So anyways, um, I and we can do video recorded reading or the uh, FaceTime, Skype, Google, Hangout, um, Facebook Messenger, whatever. Whatever you need to do, you can do. Um, or just a phone call. <clears throat> Anyway, go to my website, fearlessintuition.net. All of the information is there. Um, right now, readings are scheduled about two weeks out, you know, and that's why I've kind of been limiting my time, so I don't have really long wait time. So if you're ready for a reading in a couple weeks, or you can get an emergency one, all available. I love you guys so, so much. Have a wonderful August, and I will see you in September. Bye.